Hello you guys, welcome back to Stampaholics Anonymous. Today we are going to do another Slash My Stash episode with more Kiko polishes. This time we're doing blues and the greens. Um, I have this big box full of polishes to go through, so I'm gonna jump right ahead into the swatches. We're gonna do it like I did last time on a swatch wheel, um, going color by color, uh, you know, two coats each, to see if the formula is any good, if I like the color, yada, yada, yada. Please do excuse the state of my nails. I've been cleaning and rearranging my nail table all afternoon. Um, and now I'm finally getting around to actually sitting down to film. Now that I have my desk like organized and cleaned. Um, yeah, I got myself a new chair. It's a new swivel chair. I am um, still figuring out how to work with it. So if I do weird movements, that's down to the new chair. Um, also, if you hear anything in the background, I have my window open because it's such a nice day outside and I know that the fumes from all of these polishes will make me nauseous sooner or later. So I'm taking precautions. So I'm gonna set up for, you know, looking at the swatches um, in the close up. Um, and then meet you back afterwards with the final, you know, results. All right, let's start with this like light blue grayed out polish, which is 518. It's um, a cream formula. Oop, and yep, it's a good cream formula, like I expected from, you know, just a straight up cream, because Kiko does those cream formulas really, really well. And this one looks close to um, like the polishes from the Pretty Serious Rainy Days collection. So if you haven't got your hands on those, um, you might want to check out 518 by Kiko. Okay, moving right along to another blue polish. <laughs> I'm going to be saying that a lot. This is um, like an electric neon blue thingy, but with a lot of white added to it. This is 295. Another cream, another dream. <laughs> I'm sorry for the bad rhyme. So this one looks pretty good formula wise on the first coat. Let's move back to 518. I'm always going to do like two side by side because by the time I do the first coat of the, you know, um, second color, I can go ahead and put a second coat on the first color. So I'm definitely keeping 518. Let's see another coat of 295. Yep, I think I will definitely keep this. I think I will definitely. That doesn't make any sense, right? So I will probably keep 295 also. Moving on to a more like baby blue. This is 340 or sky blue, like a light summer sky, you know, the thing we all haven't seen in forever. Okay, awesome formula. Um, next up I've got a turquoise. Um, this is 341. Ha! I'm going in order again. I love it. This one had a case of an ugly bottle. You know, it was separating a bit at the top. I shook it. Um, but I do like turquoise. It's like one of my favorite colors. And it's a cream formula. And I don't see any reason not to keep this one. It's almost a one coater, at least on the swatch wheel. Let's move back to 340. Yep. It's a nice polish, but do I reach for baby blues? I don't know. It's a it's a maybe. Okay, moving back to 341, it's almost, you know, not necessary to do a second coat, but I'm going to do so nonetheless, because I'm doing two coats of everything, and this one is definitely a keeper. I like this, and I like how the swatch wheel looks. Da! Okay, so keeping 341 and 340 is a maybe. Moving on to a very classic blue, this is 336. I think I've used this one in nail art before because it's, you know, such a classic shade of blue. Like a maritime color. Formula isn't as thick as the other ones were just now, the lighter ones. Okay, moving along to a metallic polish um, that has sort of a purpley vibe also or like 
a peacocky vibe. This is 422. Yep, it's sheer like I expected with these like metallic formulas. You always get that. But okay, moving back to 336. Editing these videos is, by the way, a pain in the butt. So just a heads up. So this is a second code of 336. Um, yeah, it does deepen up. I didn't have enough polish on the brush the first time. Ha! Huh. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep this just because it's such a basic blue and it's a decent cream formula. Okay, second coat of 522. No! I don't think I like this. It's still sheer. It's still sheer, so it's definitely a bye-bye. Next up I have another turquoise, but this is like grayed out, again, like in the same vein of those Pretty Serious Rainy Days collection polishes. This is 528. And the reason that, I'm keep, uh, that I keep mentioning this is because my sister wanted one of those polishes from the Rainy Days collection. Um, and I didn't want to give her mine because I wanted to keep it. Uh, and at the time it was sold out. Um, so I was looking for dupes and I did find um, a couple of dupes in the Kiko range. So I keep mentioning that. So first coat of this one is pretty decent. Like the cream formulas do. Next up, I have something special that I have actually never tried out. This is a magnetic polish from Kiko. It's 705. I don't even know if they make this anymore. Um, and it sort of, you know, has a metallic vibe. You can see those metallic, um, like magnetic particles in there. And I have a magnet here to test out whether it really is magnetic or if they're just, you know, joking. So. Metallic formula isn't too shabby. I'm gonna wait um, until the second coat until I try the magnet. Moving back for a second coat of 528. Yep, this is a decent formula. And I do like this like grayed out, muted down shade of turquoise. So this is a keeper. So let's look at the metallic, um, the magnetic polish, I mean, 705. Second coat, still a bit sheer. Why do they always do that? Always do that. Okay, so here's my little magnet pen. Ooh, yes, it definitely does do stuff under the magnet. So, hmm, I'm kind of on the fence because it is still pretty sheer on the swatch wheel, as you can see here. So, I'm probably gonna uh, get rid of it because I have you know, a ton of Mazura polishes that are better. Next up is another like grayed out blue. This is 519. There's a hair on here. Get off. Cat hair. Of course, what else? So this is the first coat of 519. Whoa, that's a decent cream formula. God, I love that cream formula. It's so good. Ah, oh, it's so good. I hate it. <laughs> okay, next up we've got another metallic polish, like a gray-blue kind of a deal. Um, and this is 517. That's pretty nice for a metallic finish, which is my least favorite finish, if you haven't you know, derive that from the by now. And it's a really decent formula because it almost covers in one coat. Moving back to 519, second coat of this. Yeah, this is definitely also a keeper, like those other two grayed out polishes that we saw in the cream formula. They're just so good. It's impossible to get rid of these. So, uh, another coat of 517, let's see what it does to opacity. It, it is actually, it's not that bad for metallic polish. The thing is though, I don't reach for metallic polishes that often because they're, you know, I don't like the brush strokes and stuff. This one isn't too bad with the brush strokes. Um, yeah, but I'm still getting rid of this one. Next up, I have another metallic polish. This is like a blue-green thingamabob. Uh, this is 529. Uh, and do excuse the dust on the bottles. It's, I you know, I have a lot of those and I don't dust them like daily. So, first coat, sheer as expected. 
you know, it is a metallic finish and it has glitters and, you know, they tend to run pretty thin, those formulas do. Okay, next up I have another one of those like muted down or grayed out um, turquoise polishes. This one is a lot lighter than the first one we saw, but I'm already liking the color of this one a lot. It's 387. Yup. Mm -hmm. That was a preemptive yup. <laughs> Formula-wise, it is a bit thinner than I would have thought. Maybe I need to shake it up because it also has like ugly bottle syndrome a tiny bit. Anyway, moving back to 529. Let's see if this deepens up in the second coat. If I get polish on my brush. It does deepen up, but it doesn't really get like 100% opaque. Now it does because I put on like a ridiculously thick coat. What do we think? I kind of like this because it's so sparkly and deep. Mm, I think this is a maybe, the 529. Maybe is a new pile I'm making up. Uh, let's see what another coat of 387 does. Yeah, it does, you know, you know, it's a cream formula. It's awesome. And I do like this shade. So this is definitely a keeper. Okay, next up we have this like um, electric blue, I don't know, um, ultramarine blue, but it sort of looks like a jelly polish already in the bottle. This is 335. Yeah, and this is definitely more of a jelly formula. I do like the color, but I don't know how I feel about this jelly formula. Next up, I have another like light baby blue or sky blue. I don't know if the camera is there. It is picking it up because it's not a straight up cream. It's more like a metallic finish. This is weird. This is definitely not a color I would reach for. Oh, and it's 525, sorry. Although the formula is great. Wow, this is a great formula but not like a color I would reach for. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's definitely a one coater on the swatch wheel. Let's see what another coat of that jelly polish, the 335 does. Hmm, that's a jelly. Ah. Yeah, nah. No, I don't think I will be keeping 335 and 525 is just not my color. So I'm also going to get rid of, I'm going to get rid of both of them. Next up is another metallic polish. Um, sort of like an in-between thing between blue and a turquoise, at least in my opinion. This is 520. It's a metallic finish, so already... You know, not a fave. Yep, and it's pretty sheer, but on the swatch wheel you can definitely see what I mean about turquoise because there's a lot of green in this polish. I'm curious to see if it deepens up on the second coat. Next up I have another metallic finish. This is sort of like a deep uh, maritime blue, like an ultramarine blue. This is 266. Also a bit sheer like the metallic polishes do. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, moving back to 520. Hmm. I don't know. It's not wowing me at the moment. It's a tiny bit sheer still, even though, you know, the second coat almost got it fully opaque on the wheel, but I think I'm getting rid of this one. Let's do a second coat of 266. It is pretty and it looks like regal, like, you know, fit for a queen. I could see like a fleur-de-lis pattern on this. I don't know. I don't know. It's still pretty sheer, isn't it? It's rather sheer still. I think I'm getting rid of both of these. Okay, next up I have another like pastel-y color, a turquoise that is sort of pastel. This is 344 and it's a straight up cream. Awesome formula. I like their cream formula. Mm -hmm. 
I'm probably going to be keeping this because I like the color and I like the formula. Sorry about the fuzzies. Next up, I have something it's hard to describe. It sort of has like an iridescent vibe. I don't know if this is meant to be like a topper or if you can get this one opaque on its own. But it's a very light turquoise. And then it has an, a subtle iridescent shift towards pink. This is $2.98. From the look of the bottle, I might have played with this before. I don't know. It is sheer. But it's kind of like... I, it's it's kind of like... It's kind of like... I kind of like it. Uh, even though it is sheer, maybe it is meant to be a topper. Okay, so let's do a second coat of 344. Yeah, definitely gonna keep this one. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's do second coat of 298. I don't know if you can get this one opaque on its own, but I like it as a topper. I might have to put this like over a darker blue to see, you know, the topper effect. Let me grab a swatch stick for that. Okay, so I have uh, a swatch stick laying around that is sort of black. I think this is like a dark gray, but I'm going to put like one coat of the and 298 over it. I kind of like this. You guys, I kind of like this. Yeah, I'm probably going to keep this. Next up I have 346. This is another one of those like grayed out um polishes that are sort of, you know, like the pretty serious series. <laughs> uh, let's see how it does. It's a straight up cream it sort of has like a khaki, 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 khaki vibe, khaki, khaki, khaki. That's how you pronounce that. <sighs> Sorry. Yep, and it's a decent cream formula. You could probably get away with like one and a half coats. I'm not going to do a second coat. I already like this. And then I have a very light and delicate um, turquoise like pastel. Um, it's 345. Let's see how this one performs. It's an odd color, but it's sort of like a springy Easter color. That's kind of nice. It also has a decent formula. So, let's see what like a second or like a half coat of this does. It is a decent cream formula for being such a light polish, but it's also a really, really weird color. Um, I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. Brand new swatch wheel. Next up we have another like muted out, muted down, grayed out blue. This is 338. I kind of like this uh, already. And it's a straight up cream. And I want, what, which one do I want to paint? I want to paint this one. <laughs> I was really confused because I was looking at the viewfinder and things are a little off in there. <laughs> so I wasn't sure which one of these to paint. Okay, so cream formula doing great. Next up, I have another metallic, like um, sort of a bluish green, greenish blue, and I see some like purplish shimmer at very extreme angles. I don't know if the camera is picking this up. This is 521. Mm -hmm, I expected it to be sheer, and it's really like glittery. Not just straight up metallic, but also, you know, there is some added glitter in here, and it's sheer. Mm, let's do a second coat of 338. 383, not 38. I'm sorry. Okay. Yep. Mm. Ooh, this is luscious. And a really deep color. Uh, and the second coat gets it to full opacity and deepens up the color. I like this, keeping it. Uh, let's do a second coat of 521. Mm -hmm still share and it's not really my cup of tea at least today so I'm getting rid of 521 next up I have a very very dark blue this is 523 and it's a straight up cream at least I hope so it could be like a very um like a purple also yeah it's more of like a dark purple but like right on the verge of still being a blue. You know, there's just a hint of red added to this one. It's a lovely color. I like this. Okay, next up I have another um, blue, a lighter blue. Um, this is 294. 
also just a straight up cream. Decent cream formula. Let's see what a second coat of that plumish purple 523 does. It's like sometimes it's really hard to tell in the bottle whether it's like a blue or a purple or you know it's sometimes hard to tell depending on the lighting situation you're working with. So the second coat does deepen this one up and I like this like plummy luscious color so I'm keeping this. Let's do another coat of 294. There's people talking in the background on their balcony. I have to close the window probably. So yeah the second coat does deepen this one up but I think that I kept something similar, so I'm getting rid of 294. Next up I have a color that's like really similar to what we just saw. This is 385 and we just saw 294 and they're like really really close in the bottles. So I'm curious to see. This one seems to have like a tad more white in it. I don't know. Another cream formula, so one coat of 385. It's a good cream formula and definitely more white than the other one. But in the bottles they're like really really closely related. Okay, first green. This is like an army green. Um, sort of like a grayed out green. This is 347. Mm, I like this. It's a cream formula. And I didn't have enough polish on the brush. Okay. Let's see a second coat of 385. Definitely makes it opaque. Mm, I don't know. It's a maybe for me. Okay, let's see another coat of 347. I'm sort of liking this like army uh, green. Do a great like camouflage look with this. And I like the cream formula, uh, so I'm keeping 347 for sure. Next up I have like a grass green, a green green, so to say. This is 391. Mm, it's a rather thin but still nice cream formula. I wonder what a second coat will do for this. Next up I have a this one has another, it says it's a glossy nail lacquer, so it might be a different formula. It's also like a lighter grass green, spring green. This is 708. It's another, you know, number system, so I'm guessing it's a different formula. Good cream formula. I like this one. Let's see another coat of 391. Still, I like the cream formula and it deepens up the color and it makes it opaque. I think I'm going to keep this one just to have like a nice, you know, cream formula green. Let's look at the glossy uh, finish. This is 708, second coat. Don't see where the glossy comes to play. I'm gonna keep both. And next up I have another metallic finish. This is sort of like a um, greenish blue, bluish green. Uh, this is 535. It's very sheer on that first coat. It's a bit darker or more like grayish on the wheel than I would have thought. I don't know. Next up I have a very exciting polish. There's a lot going on in this one. It's a metallic finish and then it has like green and golden glitters added to it. This is 533. Ooh. And it's not half bad for being, you know, so loaded with glitters and being like a metallic base formula. Okay, let's move back to 535. We're gonna get rid of this one. I don't like them. No, I don't like the metallic finish. It's just not my fave. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm probably going to get rid of 535. Let's see a second coat of 533. It does deepen up the color uh, and build up that glitter and you cannot really see the brush strokes as much as I was afraid you could, so I don't know, but it's also still a bit sheer. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm keeping it. Next up we have like a... Wow, it's looking so much lighter in the viewfinder. I wonder if the camera is picking this one up. It's sort of like a neon turquoise it's a green but it, there's some blue going on but just a little bit uh this is 343 it's a good solid cream formula liking it okay next up i have a very light um blue green turquoise uh, this is 389. It's like a very pastel -y. Um, and I'm guessing that the formula will be really good because all of those light pastel ones were in the past. This one isn't an exception. It's a very decent cream formula. I think once they add like a lot of white to a polish, it gets like opaque real easy. Let's move back to 343. Again, good cream formula, but I can still, it's still kind of sheerish in, at least in some spaces. Uh, maybe that's just, yeah, I can see some like lighter spots in it. I'm on the fence about 343. Let's do a second coat of 389, which really isn't like my cup of tea. But sometimes you do need those like pastels in nail art. Or like for a gradient or stuff. Man, it's a good formula. Oh, it's a good formula. So it's a maybe. And a 343 is... I'm going to get rid of 343. Next up I have a very hard to describe. At first I thought it was like um, another one of those like grayed out cream formulas. But this one has like added shimmer to it. Which is sort of blue. Even though the base of this is like a muted out um, green, this is 388. So it's not a cream formula. I don't know what's going on with this one. Let's see. It does have a cream base, but then there's like shimmer added to it. It's rather sheer on that first coat. Okay, next up I have another one of those like very, very glittery, almost like foily polishes that we saw just now. This is 531 um, and this one doesn't have like any... Yeah, no, that's green and I think silver glitters in this one. 533, like I just said. I'm mostly saying out those numbers because I need to edit this and it's a lot of work. Okay, so this one is sheer on the first coat, like I expected. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this one. Okay, let's do a second coat of 388. Still sheer. The shimmer is kind of nice, and you know, in combination with that green base, but I am not really feeling this one. It's still rather sheer. Uh, I think I'm getting rid of 388. And let's do a second coat of 531. Mm, it's not really building up. Yeah. No. I'm getting rid of 531. Next up I have more of a grassy green. But this one sort of has a lot of white added to it as well. This is 296. And it is kind of sheer on the first coat. The formula isn't as, you know, solid as some of the other cream formulas were. Next up, I have another darker green, also uh, sort of like grayed out or white out. Um, this is 534. This has a thicker cream formula. We're going to need a second coat for sure. I kind of like this color. Okay, moving back to 296, let's do a second coat of this one. 
it's still rather sheer. Maybe I need to shake the bottle more. Hold on. I give this a fair chance. But it sort of has like a watery, almost jelly formula in the bottle, it looks like. Yeah, and the second coat does deepen up the color, but um, it's still not 100% opaque. Okay, moving back to two, uh, <laughs> 534, sorry. Second coat makes this one opaque. I kind of like this. Yeah, I am keeping 534 and getting rid of 296. Down to the last two polishes. This next one is sort of like a grayish green or greenish gray, and it's a metallic finish. This is 536. Formula is okay, but you know, rather sheer on the first coat, as is to be expected with a metallic. Okay, and last up, I have another one of those like glittery polishes that we just saw a few of, and I think I've worked with this one before and I liked it very much. This is 532 and it looks like a peacock stuffed into a bottle, basically. It's really, you know, closely related to the one I kept just now, the 533, you know, they're really closely related. So let's see how this one does. If I remember correctly, I did like this one when I used it the first time. Yeah, and the formula isn't half bad for it being a metallic with, you know, glitter, uh, glitter, glitter in it. Okay, moving back to 536, this weird metallic gray-green thing. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Nope, not really feeling it. So let's do a second coat of the last polish of the 532. It doesn't get as opaque as I thought it would, but I still like the color combo, so it's a maybe. So these are my six maybes. Uh, this one here looked really nice on the swatch wheel, uh, which I can't pick up because I put... Oh, jeez, I'm so dumb sometimes. Uh, hold on. Okay, so I managed to get the swatch wheel without getting, you know, nail polish all over my fingers. So this first one is this one here on the swatch wheel and I think I'm gonna keep it because I do like it. And it sort of is like a very, very light color with a hint, uh, like a very light polish with a hint of color. And I think this is like perfect for like a neutral look for, you know, the office and stuff. So I'm keeping this, this is 345. Uh, and I think I'm going to de-stash this one because uh, it's so similar to other polishes that I kept. So I'm getting rid of 385. Da -da. Then I have two more of those like lighter colors. This like baby blue one. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm getting rid of this one here for sure. 389. Um, and I might just keep this one because it's like a light, you know, sky blue. Uh, that sometimes you do need in nail art. Oh, let me try to show it on the wheel. It's this one right here. Yeah, I'm keeping uh, 340. Okay, and then I'm down to the last two, and I think I'm going to keep this one, the peacocky one, the, the last one that I swatched. Uh, 532 because I really do like this one and I want to experiment more with it um, you know on the nails whether you need like three coats to get this one opaque or not if if you're going to need like three coats I'm probably going to de-stash it at a later date but for now I'm keeping it and I think I'm going to get rid of 529 which is uh, this one over yonder <sighs> yeah I don't even know which one it was anymore. Oh, this one right here. No, I think I'm going to get rid of 529. I'm done. So here's the final look out. I am getting rid of this. Oh, I just counted them and now it doesn't make any sense. Okay, these are 18. Uh, and I am keeping 
20. So I didn't do as good as I did last time where it was like an even split. Um, but it's still, you know, I have like more room on my shelf now. Uh, like I mentioned the last time, these are going to pop up on my D stash page eventually. It just takes, you know, a while to photograph all of them and put them on Instagram. Um, yeah, so that was um, the third round of Kiko polishes. I have one more video to film with like um, neutrals and browns and some glittery stuff and a few stray purples and pinks that I didn't uh, put in the purple and pink video. So that's it for today, you guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Um, other than that, um, that's it for today, you guys. I love you very much and I will talk to you next time. Bye.